I'm Lindsay Harvey, one of the senior massage therapists at Body Work Professionals. We have offices in Latham, Saratoga Springs, and right here in Niskayuna, New York. During this COVID-19 shutdown, we are very sad to not be able to help our clients with the massage therapy that they so love and need. So in the meantime, we thought it would be great to create um, an at-home care routine. We're gonna be doing some foam rolling, full body foam rolling, breaking it down to segments, and also you could combine it into a full body routine. Before we start, just wanna mention that if you have any medical conditions, including circulatory, lymphatic issues, any broken bones or injuries, please use the advice of your doctor. This doesn't replace that. Sometimes uh, less is more, so if it hurts, back off. Um, you can also wrap the foam roller in a towel or just not do that move if something doesn't feel right. Listen to your body first, okay? Right now, I'm gonna show you a brief foam rolling routine to adjust the arm and pecs. Here we go. So, what we're gonna do is face the foam roller, just gonna guide my arm palm up to hit the back of the upper arm, also known as the triceps. We can roll back and forth, and we can shimmy. It's really fun. Then, to hit the biceps, you're gonna rotate your arm so that you're hitting the front of the upper arm. I'm almost turning my palm the complete opposite way. The biceps will really connect well to getting the pectoral, pectoralis major. I'm just gonna lean in like this, getting the front of the chest as it leads into the axillary or armpit area. And you can actually even lay your whole body on this and just breathe and kind of sink in. That feels really good. After the pecs, we'll go back to the rear side of your axillary area, and that'll hit the lats and the rib cage. So I'm gonna be completely on my side, thinking about the ribs. This can be really sensitive, so if it hurts, just go easy. You can wrap your foam roller in a towel, or just lift your body up a little bit more. And you can go all the way down the side of the ribs here. Ooh. And that is the routine for the upper arm, pecs, and lats. Now I will be demonstrating uh, foam rolling techniques for the back of the body. This is the second half of this video segment. You can do them separately or together. So to start, we're going to put the foam roller down at the ankles, right behind the Achilles tendon. If your calves are really sensitive, you can do both calves at the same time. But what I like to do is double it up, cross your legs. It gets a little bit more pressure because the leverage is pretty far away from the foam roller right now. So hold yourself up a little bit. I do what's called a shimmy all the way up the calf. And then when I come back, I make sure that the final roll is always pushing the circulatory fluids toward the heart. So you can go back and forth, but you wanna make sure that the final push is toward the heart. With the calf, you can angle it to the lateral, you can angle it to the inner portion of the calf. There's a lot of really good stuff on both sides. Now moving to the hamstrings. You're gonna lift yourself up and do a little shimmy back and forth. Kind of opens up the fascia and the muscles at the same time for creating space. Once you get far enough along where you can kind of hold yourself up without your hands, you're basically gonna think about sitting on the foam roller. There's a nice spot beneath the buttocks. It's kind of where your buttocks crease meets your hamstrings, and that is the hamstring attachment. When you get there, you'll feel it. You're not on your bum, and you're not on your hamstrings. You're right in between where they meet. So I'm gonna shimmy back and forth on that, open that up a little bit, or you can just sit and relax. That pressure will feel really good. Now moving to the glutes. Very important muscles. So I'm just gonna start with the middle of the glutes. Back and forth. You're gonna feel it on your sacrum here too. And then to rotate, you have deeper lateral rotators underneath the main set of glutes. And those are really important. 
While I'm here, you could go full lateral and get the side of the hip bone. This can be sensitive, so if it hurts, wrap the foam roller in a towel or just hold yourself up more with your arms and legs. And while you're here, you can also go really crazy and be on the IT band, which for a lot of people is very sensitive. That's the full lateral side of the leg. I usually go really easy here. It doesn't need to hurt. It's supposed to feel good. Okay, moving on from the boots, and you would do that on each side of your body, of course. You don't want to leave one side out. We're going to go to the lower back. You can hold yourself up. If you want more pressure, you could lay fully down. That gets you more pressure. You could straighten your legs. Woo! That's more pressure. I usually hold myself up a little bit. Okay, we're going to aim now for the lower end of the rib cage, thoracic spine. You can mix foam rolling with the shimmy. If you feel any spots that need more time, just rest there for a minute. Breathe into the spot. What I'm doing right now is very active, but you can pause at any point and just relax. Okay, now I'm going to kind of Rotate it up a little bit more. I'm between my scapula right now. Shoulder blades. And the upper back is where a lot of people have so much stress. So rotate, rotate back and forth. Be careful of the neck and be careful of your hair. You don't want to get it caught. To get to the neck, I've developed a sort of interesting technique. <clears throat> it's kind of a tight area to get into. So what I actually do is just gently lay my head, the curve of the neck, into the foam roller. I don't want to be too aggressive with the neck. And I just gently rotate. I'm feeling this on the back of my skull bones. That's called the suboccipital ridge. And it's a really good spot to get for headaches. Once I'm here on the traps and into the neck, I can kind of just gently rock myself into that. And that feels really good. I like to end the back of the body routine by kind of coming underneath while the foam roller is there. I just rest my, heads, my head into my own fingers and sort of gently traction upward. It gives the neck a great stretch. I'm gonna be taller when this is all over. And that is the back of the body routine.